while you announced an incredibly exciting transaction today that I think is going to accelerate growth in all the areas that our people want. Why don't you just tell us what you're doing? Thanks, Jim. Great to be here. and Great to see you. Thank you very much. What a great opportunity for Emerson shareholders and for Aspen Tech shareholders to really transform and scale what is a, in, in a high-growth industrial software space. Over a $60 billion opportunity, uh, high growth, and with lots of opportunity to do more M&A and, and to grow organically as well. So we're very excited about that proposition. Synergies on both sides of the table and, uh, and uh, a, a very important day for us. As, now, uh, as initially when I heard it, I, I, it seemed complex to me, but it really is not. You're giving yeah. some money. You've got this unbelievable partner that's been growing fantastically, and yeah. then you'll have this new vehicle. It is phenomenal. I think you, you said it right, Jim. Six billion in cash, 2.5 billion in contributed assets, and then Emerson shareholders ha get to con to to uh, take advantage of the ownership structure, 55 percent. Right. Because obviously there's a control premium in there. They they take advantage of the synergies at Aspen Tech, 55 percent of those, and 100 percent of the synergies created at Emerson. So that's 110 billion, excuse me, million dollars of EBITDA synergies at Aspen Tech. 45 million at Emerson, and then the, cur the public currency vehicle to do more software oh. deals at that multiple, Jim, for us is very, very exciting. Now, when sometimes you hear these companies, I like to think I know a lot of companies law, but I go to, to Jim Fiddling, associate, yes. the CEO of yeah. Dow, and I said, well, how about these guys? He said, they helped optimize manufacturing processes, achieve low cost operations, save $700 million. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what kind of company can save $700 Absolutely. million dollars for another company? Absolutely. So this is, this is essentially end to end software. You start with the design and engineering into the production and operations element and then into the asset optimization piece. That is an in incredible amount of value creation. So you design in a very optimal way, you optimize as you're running the place, that's a tremendous amount of value that they create and into the energy future as well. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.